Hello, kindergarten friends. I'm super excited that you're here with us again for our 12th lesson about numbers. We are going to have a fantastic time together today. What book did we read this week? Who remembers? That's right. We read Chicka Chicka. One, two, three. And there were numbers who climbed to the top of what kind of tree? That's right. They climbed to the top of an apple tree. Very good job. And we have been working really hard this week around counting and counting to tens. And oh, we've learned a new number. We've worked on the number eight. And we've also worked on our dot game. Fantastic. Are we ready? What do we do to get our brains going and to get warmed up? We count. Are we ready? What number are we counting to this week? Who remembers? Say it loud. <gasps> That's right. We are counting to 60. Are we ready to get started? All right. We'll do our I do, you do, and count all the way to 60. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Great job, boys and girls. We made it all the way up to 60. I'm so proud of you. I hope you've been practicing your counting between our times together. I can tell you are doing such a fantastic job. All right, what do we do next? What have we been doing this week? We've been counting by tens, right? That's a lot of apples still. What do you think about my apples? Oh, you think I still have them in 10 rows of 10? Because last week we read what book? That's right, we read 100 Hungry Ants last week, and we talked about ants that marched 10 by 10. So we, this week, have been working with apples. All right, let's see if Miss Virginia left it in 10 rows of 10. How can we check Miss Virginia's work? What can we do? Oh, okay. So we could count and see if there's 10 rows or 10 apples in a row? Okay. All right, I think we should do that. Let's count our apples. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's still ten, aren't there? Hmm. 
What should we do next? Oh, 10 by 10 means there's 10 apples this way and 10 apples that are up and down this way. So 10 like this and 10 like this. Uh, so should we, hmm, should we count the up and down? Huh. I like it. Let's give it a try. Let's count the up and down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you were going to make a guess at how many apples there are, how many do you think there are? Shout it out to me. <gasps> how many? Shout it out again. So I heard lots of 100s. We think there's 100 apples on the screen. And how can we count to 100 efficiently if we're in groups of 10? We can count by 10s. All right, count with me. Are you ready? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40. Are you counting with me? I don't think you're counting with me, friends. We need to all count together. I want to hear you. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There's 100 apples on the screen because they are 10 rows of 10, just like our ants marched in 10 rows of 10. And our hundreds grid, which we'll bring back next week, our hundreds grid says that that would be 100 when we counted them, didn't it? You guys have some warmed up brains. You are certainly ready for the dog and puppies. Oh my gosh, look at the little spotted puppies. Aren't they cute? Okay, so how do we play our dot game? That's right, a pattern shows up and you decide how many dots it is and you hold it tight in your brain and it goes away. And then I ask you, how many dots did you see? And you shout it out and you tell me how many, how many? Oh my goodness, so many people said three. And then we put it back up and we talk about the different ways we could see the number of dots. Are you ready for our dot game? All right, here we go, boys and girls. First pattern. Right, hold it in your brain. Hold it tight, 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 tight. How many did you see? How many? Mm, I think y'all are pretty warmed up already. I heard lots of people say seven. So let's check <clears throat> and see if it's seven. All right. All right, here we go. Let's count them first. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is seven dots. All right, how did you see seven, boys and girls? Oh, you remember from our last lesson that one way is to see three and four, and you saw three dots on the top and four dots on the bottom, and that was seven. Nice job. Oh, you just saw seven? You just knew there were seven? Okay. That's fair. Sometimes you can just see it and look and go, I know that seven. Seven's a little harder than one, two, three, four, five, and six because we don't typically see dice that have seven dots on them, do we? We don't. Typically, games use one through six. Now, there's some that use bigger numbers, but most of them are just one through six, so it's not as common. All right, so what's another way that you saw seven? Oh, I see it. Okay, so you saw five, and then two, and five, and two is definitely another way to see seven. Let's do one more with this set. How did you see seven? Oh, okay, I see it. All right, hang on. Let me see if I can draw it. Let me put it back up here, friends. All right, you guys are so smart. You're thinking so good today. All right, I heard that they saw six and one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, kind of like a dice. They're a little like leaning. It's kind of like a dice on number, the dots on a dice leaning sideways, but it's still six. And then one more gives. Seven. Nice job. All right, let's do another pattern. Here we go. 
All right, hold it in your brain. Hold it tight, 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 tight. How many? How many? Oh my gosh, I heard so many people say seven. All right, let me draw it. And then you're going to tell me how you saw seven. All right, here it is. Well, first, we probably should check it and make sure that it is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is seven. How did you see seven? I can't. Oh, I forgot to put it back up there. There it is, seven. I can't fool you guys. Like, Let's look at our last one. Here it is. And it was three and four. And all we did is, boom, spread them out. And it's still seven. Because did we take any away? We didn't take any away. Did we add any to the screen? We didn't add any to the screen, so it stayed seven. Very nice. So how could you also see the size? Just saying, Miss Virginia, you just moved them. How else could you see seven? Ah, that's right. You could see three and four. And three and four give seven. Excellent job. Let's take one more way that you saw seven. Okay, I see it. Let me, put, let me draw it up there for you. So I heard two, 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 and one. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and one more makes seven. Nice job. You guys are doing a super great job. All right, here is our next pattern. Hold it in your brain. Hold it tight, tight, tight. How many did you see? <gasps> How many? All right, let's put it up and let's check. Here we go. All right, let Miss Virginia draw it. Oh, yep, you're right. All right, so here was the last one we did, and if we and we knew that was seven, and if we just flip it upside down, we get the new one, which makes it seven. I just can't fool you guys today. Did we take any dots away? Did we add any? We sure didn't. So now we know there's still seven. So how did you see seven by just knowing that Miss Virginia moved them around and flipped them upside down? That one we've seen a lot with this pattern. It's pretty easy sometimes to see four and three. Four and three still makes seven. You guys are doing a super, super job. All right, let's go to a new pattern. Maybe Miss Virginia actually changed it this time. What do you think? All right, let's see. Here we go. All right, hold it in your brain. Hold it tight, tight, tight in there. How many did you see? Oh, I heard a six. Oh, eight. Oh, we haven't seen an eight today. Seven? All right, let's count it and see. Let's let Miss Virginia draw it. All right, here we go. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is seven. Nice job. How did you see seven, boys and girls? How oh, I see it. Six like a dice and one more gives seven. Nice work. How else did you see six or seven? Uh-huh. I see it. Okay. Hang on. Let me draw her. Get it up here. Okay, I heard four at the top like a dice, and then three at the bottom, and four, and three is seven. We saw six, and one, and four, and three. How else could you see seven? I see it. Hang on, let me erase. Okay, here we go. Get my dots back in here good. I heard five. And two and five and two is another way to make seven. So we've had three and four, six and one, and five and two. Fantastic work. Are you ready for another pattern? Oh. 
Hmm, I think Miss Virginia messed up. Hang on. So that's the one we did. Oh, I think I forgot to take it away and put it back up there. Or I hit the wrong switch. I'm just having technology issues right this moment. All right, let's do another one. Are you ready? All right, hold it in your brain. Hold it tight, tight, tight. How many did you see? How many? Oh. All right. Let's see if you saw the right number. Let me draw it. All right, boys and girls, let's count. I heard lots of sevens because, you know, we have done a whole, whole, whole passel of sevens today, haven't we? All right, here we go. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven dots. Okay. How'd you see seven? Oh, I see it. Five like a dice. And two more. And five. And two. A seven. It's another way you saw seven with this set of dice. Or with these sets of dots. Oh. Hmm. Tell me one more time. Oh. Okay. I see it. Let me draw it. All right. Here we go. All right. So I heard... Let me draw it first. Two, two and two. So two, four, six, and one more in the middle right there makes seven. Very nice, boys and girls. All right, let's do one more set of dots. Here we go. All right, hold it in your brain. Hold it tight, 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 tight. Hold it. All right, how many did you see? How many? All right, let's check it. You know what? You're right. Well, you guys are just with it today. This one is a lot like the last one. Let's count it real quick, and then we'll talk about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you thought it looked like a dragonfly. It does kind of. There's its wings and its body. Okay, so how do we know that seven? Five like a dice, just like on our last one. Oh, and then the two dots, instead of being up here, the two dots are down here, and it looks like the two on a dice. So five and two is seven. Nice job. One more way you saw seven with this set of dice, or with this set of dots. I keep saying dice today. Whew. All right, what is one other way that you saw Seven. Okay, so you saw the five of the dice and then one of the ones on the bottom. So that's six and one makes seven. Great thinking today, boys and girls. I am super, super proud of you. And I think we are ready for reading our numbers. All right, here we go. Remember, you have to read them. You need to be able to read the numbers so that your hand recognizes them, so that you can write them. What's our new number this week we've been reading? That's right, we've been looking for eight, because it's our new one. Are we ready? All right, here we go. Four. You didn't say it with me. Now I've got to go all the way back to the zebra. All right, you've got to say it with me. Here we go. Four. Six. Eight. There it is. There's our new one. Circle on top, circle on the bottom. That's right, it's an eight. Okay, let's keep going. Five, three, seven, two. Excellent, excellent work. The last thing we have to do is we're gonna count apples. I've got some challenges at the end of today. I'm so excited so that you can see the challenges. What's our strategy when we count? That's right, we put a circle around them. Why do we put a circle around them? Oh, so we don't count any two times and 
That's right. So we don't leave out any of our friends because we don't want to leave out any of our apple friends. It might make them very sad. Okay, are we ready? Let's count the apples on this page. We count together. We go one, two, and how many apples are there? That's right, there's two apples because we didn't leave any out and we didn't count any more than once and we ended it two. So there are two apples on the page. Are we ready for another one? All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of apples, friends. Okay, can we count them? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen apples. There are fourteen apples on the page. Why are there fourteen? What? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I left out an apple friend. I left out this guy right up here. Poor apple friend. We didn't count him. Oh, we must start over, friends. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I left out an apple friend. All right, here we go. Let's count again. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Did I leave any apple friends out? I didn't. Did I count any twice? I didn't. So how many apples are on the page? 15. 15 apples. Good job. Thank you for helping me with that. That was fantastic. All right, are we ready for another one? All right, let's count these apples. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. How many apples on the page? Phew, you were really loud. I think you kept up with me good on that one. There are five apples on the page. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of apples and some are going this way and some of them are in bunches. And This one looks tough, friends. I'm definitely gonna need your help. Who can give me a strategy? Oh, maybe we could count by tens. Oh, we maybe could. Okay, so if we're going to count by tens, they have to be in groups of how many? Ten. So should we check something? Oh, oh, oh. So we should check and make sure that the ones in the line, or that there's ten in the line. Oh, well, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's good. The lines are in tens. So should we check? Hmm, should we check one of the bunches? Check one of the bunches to make sure they're ten too. Oh, okay. Well, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, they're both tens. They're just arranged differently, but ten. Even if I put it where it looks different, it's still 10 apples. So can we count by tens? You think so? I think we can too. Are we ready? Count with me, boys and girls. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. How many apples are on the page? That's right. There's 60 apples on the page. You guys did such a good job with apples that were in different arrangements. I'm super proud of you. Can we do one more slide? I think we can. Here we go. Oh, let's check. Mm, let's look at it. What should we check? Oh, we need to check to make sure that the apples in the line are actually 10 and the apples in the bunches are actually 10. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's count the apples in a line. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Phew, good thing Miss Virginia didn't change those. All right, let's check our bunches. Here we go. Let's check this bunch right here. Are you ready? All right, let's count it. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the rows still have ten. The bunches still have ten. So we can count by groups of ten. All right, let's count by tens. Here we go. I'm so excited. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. There are eighty bunches of apples on the screen. Boys and girls, I am so very, very proud of you. You have done a great job with me this week, counting and really practicing counting by tens and counting objects in groups of 10. We're up to eight. We only have one more new number. What is our new number, friends? You're right, it's a nine. So next week we will practice reading nine. The next time we're together, we're gonna have a new story to read and I love our story time together. I've really, really enjoyed you listening to our lesson and participating in our lesson today. You're doing such a fantastic job with your numbers and I'm so very, very proud of you. Your hard work is really starting to pay off. I can tell you've been practicing. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and practice some more before we come back together again. We'll have a new story to read. Have a great day, boys and girls. We'll see you next time.